Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let's take a look at the Photo Booth app on your Mac. I'm often surprised that people don't know that there's an app on their Mac called Photo Booth. It's basically the camera app, but for your Mac. It's particularly handy if you've got a MacBook or an iMac that has a built-in camera. But even with a Mac Mini or a Mac Studio, you can use another camera like a webcam or even your iPhone to take advantage of Photo Booth. Basically what it does is it allows you to use your Mac's camera to take a picture or record a video. You don't need to use your iPhone or another camera to take a picture and record and then transfer it to your Mac first. The camera on your Mac is really a webcam, so it's not particularly great for high quality stuff, but for taking a quick picture or video, it's perfect. So I'm going to launch it here using Launchpad. And you can see it's right there. It's actually been there the whole time. It's been a part of Mac OS for almost 20 years. So when you launch it, it brings up a window like this and it shows the view from your camera. The basic use is this. You can select camera mode or video mode, and then you could just click right here or press return and it will take a photo or start recording a video. And then it stores the result right here in a little camera roll. So each picture you take would just get added to this. It has its own storage area for pictures. So it's not going to put it into your photos app. If you switch to video mode, then when you click here, it will start recording a video. You can see the count right here, and then you can click stop and it will stop and place the video there in this little camera roll. You can choose from the camera menu, which camera you wanna use. If you're using an iPhone with continuity camera turned on, you may see your iPhone here as well and can use your iPhone as a webcam. By the way, if you find these videos valuable, consider joining the more than 2000 others that support MacMost at Patreon. You get exclusive content, course discounts, and more. You can read about it at macmost.com slash Patreon. Now, whether you're doing video or taking a photo, you can click the effects button here and there are three sets of effects and you're going to see them represented here on the screen. So for instance, you've got these kind of camera distortion effects here. You've got these filters here in the second set, which might be more useful. And you've got an additional set of camera special effects here. Now, 20 years ago, everybody was very impressed by those, but nowadays those are a bit cheesy, especially considering some of the more advanced things that you can do with apps on your iPhone. Now you can review any of the images or videos here by simply selecting them and you can go through them like that. You could export with control click or two finger click on the trackpad to right click on the mouse and choose the export. You also see you can delete with the X there or the context menu. You can also drag and drop out. So I can drag this out and it's a JPEG image, this, and it's a movie file. While you're viewing these, you could switch back to the camera by clicking that button right there. You could also select one of these and use the share button here and share the photo or video directly to something like mail or messages, or with the photo, you can send it to your photos library. Another thing you could do is you can show a slideshow. So you could select one or more of these and then go to view and start slideshow. And you get this little slideshow here with some controls at the bottom. Another interesting thing you could do is you could print and you get this printing mode that's not really available in other apps. It's single photo or a set of photos like this. You could also do a set of photos like that. So the idea, it's like kind of like going into a photo booth, taking a photo, and then getting a bunch of prints from that of various sizes. Now let's go back to the effects for a minute here. So if I go to effects, the second set of effects might be the most useful. They so can do something like the comic look or the black and white or sepia look like that uh, to create a more interesting video. If you go to video mode, and you look at the effects and you go to the third set of effects here like this, a lot of them have a focal point, like for instance, the twirl here. So if I click here, you can see I can make the twirl bigger or smaller and I could drag the focal point around. So one weird and interesting thing you could do is you can record and you can move around that focal point while you're recording. Another thing to note is that in macOS Sequoia, there are a whole bunch of different things that you can do with the camera in the menu bar here, for instance, depending upon which camera you've got, like a newer MacBook or my studio display here, you may have some or all of these. So I can do center stage, for instance, 
and it will work here and actually track my head and try to bring me, you know, into the middle like that. You could also turn on portrait mode and you can see how blurred the background a bit. You could turn on studio lighting. You can use the reactions like a thumbs up like this and you can see how it displays that. And you can even turn on backgrounds here and then select one of these backgrounds like a color or something from you know Apple's library or something maybe that you imported in yourself. These are all things that work in FaceTime and in other video apps and they'll work with Photo Booth as well. So you can, for instance, import a completely green background like this and create a green screen and record that in a Photo Booth even if there's not a green screen behind you. Another interesting thing you could do is instead of taking a single photo, you can take four photos. So let me give that a try. And what it's going to do is it's going to create this set of four photos like this. So it's actually like stepping into a physical photo booth. And you get these four photos. You can export by dragging all four of these out. But you could also click on one of the four and it'll zoom in on this. You can actually drag this out and get one of those four as a regular image. Notice also there's that countdown and that flash. When you take a picture, it just uses your screen, goes all white to act kind of as a flash. You could turn that off. If you go to camera, you can turn off screen flash there. You can also turn off the countdown by using the option key. So using option and return or option and clicking here, and it'll just take the photo. You can also use the shift key to temporarily disable the flash. So what are the uses for this? Well, if you need a quick photo and you just want to get it right onto your Mac and you're using a MacBook anyway, you could just use your MacBook's camera to take a picture of you or something you're holding or something you want to point your MacBook's camera at. So for posting something to social media or just a blog or maybe posting something up to a site like eBay or something like that, you can very quickly do that using Photo Booth. It's also useful for recording a quick video. You can record a video of just you saying something, and then you can very quickly share that to say mail or messages. You don't really have any export options, but remember you can always open up, say, the JPEG image here in preview. It should be the default app, so double clicking that will do it. And then you can go in here to file and say export. And then here you can change the quality and the file type. Before you export, you could actually go to tools and adjust size and shrink it if you want. And the default app for videos is of course QuickTime Player. So if you double click on one of these videos here, you get to QuickTime Player and you'll have a few export options here. So you can maybe make it very small by going to the 480p export option here. And I'll just export that really quick. So you can see this original video here was 8.5 megs and then exporting at 480 brought it down to two megs. And if the point is just a friendly video of me saying hello to somebody, that's probably what you want. So give Photo Booth on your Mac a look, play around with it a little bit so you know how to use it in case you need it later. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.